Hello, welcome back to my channel, Thrifty Day. Today we are going to be making rosettes. If you received a pen pal newsletter from me, you got everything you need to create one just like this. The image, however, may be a little bit different. But um, today I'm just gonna show you how to make it. It's super easy, it just takes a little bit of time and patience. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these aside and show you the supplies. Um, obviously you need a pair of scissors, the most important thing you need are some party streamers. Today I'm going to use this really pretty kind of aqua blue. You're gonna need to cut two lengths, not just one, I use two, two lengths. The length I use is about 32 inches, so it doesn't really need to be perfect, so whatever you choose is great. Uh, you'll need some Mod Podge and a sponge brush. Sponge brush, oh my, that's a tongue twister. Um, but we'll put that away because we don't need it until the end some tacky glue, some fabric tack, anything that dries pretty quick would be perfect for this. Some gold extra fine glitter, also we will put that to the side. These are the little decorative flowers I put on there, right there. I got them from Michaels, this is the pack they look like in case you wanted to go find those. They are from Michaels, I'm gonna put those to the side. And then you need an image. Oh, I'm so sorry, shaking the camera. You can use any image that you like from an old book to a photocopy of a picture. It doesn't matter, but today I'm gonna to use this really cute little vintage bunny from an old Bambi book. Again, I'm gonna put these to the side. So this is how we're gonna start. It's so easy, and yet it's something that I, it took quite a long time for me to perfect. So you're gonna start by layering your two streamers right on top of each other. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that they're pretty even. And then, this is the tedious part, you're just gonna to start to fold them. It doesn't need to be super perfect, although I see I've already started pretty, very unperfect. But you're gonna to wanna to try to make them as um, symmetrical as possible. As you see, I'm folding them into about one fourth. Ooh, that's, let me try and focus that. They're about a fourth of an inch, does not wanna focus a fourth of an inch um, folds. And you're just gonna keep doing that. You probably did this in elementary school. Remember sitting at your table with those scrap paste pieces of paper that were like construction paper and you'd just make those little snakes out of them. Anyway, maybe that was just me. But this is the tedious part and I'll just keep talking. I hope it's focused. I'm so sorry if it's not. Um, you're just gonna keep folding them. You're gonna try to keep them in e as even as possible. It's gonna get a little twisted, so as you go through, just keep trying to untwist it. And you're just gonna keep folding. Keep folding, keep folding. Every now and then I do this to try to make sure that they're stra staying straight. You want them to be as straight as possible. Um, but again, this isn't an exact science. And the reason I can kind of go so quickly and I kind of can just fly through them is because I've probably made hundreds of these in my crafting years. Once upon a time, I used to make these as like little award ribbons when my kids were in dance. It was just fun. I was a room mom when my kids were in elementary school and so I would make these as little awards to give out for the teacher. She would give them out for like, clean as desk or gosh, I don't even remember, best listener, most improved reader. So it was just fun. We'd make these and put little ribbon tails on them and then you just, type the little words on a computer and print them out, put them right in the middle. And the kids just really felt like they were getting like a real fancy little award. It was just a cute thing, but. So I've definitely made hundreds. And as you can see, mine are definitely, this is definitely not perfect. And that is totally okay. How do we feel about perfection? I talk about this on my channel all the time. Perfection is totally overrated. No one can see what you see. And as a crafter, I learned this from the Jeffrey March. If you follow them on any sort of social media platform, I know they are on TikTok and Instagram. That's where I follow them. Um, you know, that inner voice, the, what you tell yourself is so important. So if you're telling yourself while you're making this, oh my gosh, this is so ugly. Why don't mine look as pretty as the one in the tutorial? That's not okay. I'm sure that yours is absolutely beautiful and absolutely lovely. So we talk about authenticity and perfection a lot here on my YouTube. 
And I just loved hearing that from the Jeffrey March on Instagram and TikTok because it reminded me how important it is to just be real. And look at, see, mine is not perfect, you guys. It's a little bit thicker down at the end, thinner at the top. It's not perfect, but you know what? It's still gonna come out looking really pretty because these ones weren't perfect either. So that's okay. So now that you get to this part, all you do is you get your tacky glue and you're gonna take off that lid, which I probably should have done before I started filming because it's probably a little bit dry, but oh well. And you're going to squeeze. I know this is gonna sound funny, but you're gonna squeeze a whole bunch. Oh look, I didn't even do it right. Again, not perfect, but that's okay. You're gonna squeeze a whole bunch right onto the top. And you're just gonna make sure that you have a good even level, kind of right on there. I'm making a huge mess right now. I'm usually a little more organized. Am I even in the camera frame? <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to show you before I move on. This is what you want it to look like. Completely covered. It'll be completely white on one end. And then I'm going to get some um, wax paper. And you're just going to put it down right here. And you're going to see that it'll kind of naturally fan out. So all you're going to do is let it kind of do its thing. Do you see how it kind of is fanning out like that? Then you're gonna get your glue again and you're gonna go right on the end here and you're going to just kind of push them together gently. So now that you are here, now that you're at the space, can you see it? Let me try and see if I can put my camera down a little more. There you go. Now that you are at this space where it's all together, you've press your ends together and it looks absolutely lovely. You get your glue again and you put a tiny bit, this glue is so thick, right in the top. That sounds lovely, doesn't it? Um, so now this is what you have. I can't really lift it up because it is still drying, but let me see if I can get the camera lower. But that is what you want it to look like. And you're going to let it dry for a little bit. So while we let it dry, what I am going to do is fix my camera once again. We're gonna set it aside. Give me just a minute to set it aside. Somewhere where it can dry, which I'm not finding, I'm so sorry. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna cut out this picture. I'm gonna to try to focus my camera a little better now. We're gonna cut out this picture. Again, it doesn't need to be perfect. Talk to yourself as a crafter the way you would talk to your friend or someone you really care about. Remember to tell yourself that you're doing a good job and that it's absolutely lovely. Because you can't go wrong here. This is really, crafting an art is so subjective. And so if it looks beautiful to you and it's making you happy, then it is beautiful. And that's just what we're gonna remember moving forward, to speak kindly to ourselves about our work. So, as you can see, I just cut it out. I didn't make it perfect. I didn't, you know, cut exactly perfectly. I kind of like a little white exposed, not only because it's a little bit easier, but it's because I can actually make it a little bit cleaner that way also. So I'm just gonna set that aside. I'm gonna throw this in the trash. And then what I'm going to do is hope that my rosette is dry enough to get started on the embellishing. It may not be, so let me go check on it and we will see. Okay, so mine isn't quite dry enough, but I'm still gonna move on because I think it's, I think it's close. Close is just gonna have to be good enough. So here's mine. Now what I wanna do is add my image and I'm gonna add my flowers. So by doing that, all you have to do is use that same glue that you used and put it right on the back. You want to put a good amount, it's important. And just stick it right on the top. Keep in mind that everything will dry clear, so if you have glue all over the place, don't worry about it, it's totally fine. So there you go, you're going to have that on there. Now you're just going to pick where you're going to put your flowers. I think I'm going to put mine just kind of 
right around where the greenery is. We use that same glue. I don't know if you can hear Hannah singing in the background. She makes me laugh so much. She just lives her best life. She is just singing away. So you put a little more glue and then that's all you do. You're almost done. The only thing you need to do now is add the glitter. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. You'll need the sponge brush and the Mod Podge. You don't even need this much Mod Podge. I don't know why I poured so much in there, but let me show you how we're gonna do that next. Okay, so here's all you need to do. You just need a very small amount of fine gold glitter, and you just need a little tiny pile. You don't need a lot. A little bit of this glue, go, I mean, I'm not glue, glitter, goes a long way. You're just gonna carefully pick up your rosette. Hopefully yours is a little um, drier than mine. I should have let it dry a little bit more, but that's okay. You're gonna use your sponge brush and you're just going to put it carefully all over the edges. I'm not sure if you can see exactly what I'm doing. I hope it comes across on the camera. I'm just very carefully adding it to the ends. And see, I've got about a quarter of it done, so now I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. I'm just dipping it right into that little pile of glue. So there, see how that looks? It just trims it. You don't need a lot. You can put as much or as little on it as you want. I'm a little out of frame. I'm so sorry. The reason I get out of frame is I start looking at the craft as opposed to the camera. And I'm actually standing when I do this. And so because I'm looking at the craft or the book or the rosette or whatever instead of the camera i don't even realize that i'm totally not in the frame <laughs> so i'm so sorry i hope you love me for all my crafting imperfection i am doing my best and um yeah so you just go around the whole um perimeter of the rosette and you just keep doing that like i said you don't need a lot of this glitter a little bit really does go a long way and like i said i don't know why i have so much mod podge in that bowl it's ridiculous i definitely did not need that much i'm just going to make this a little pile again so it's easier so that's it now i'm just going to wait for it to dry completely but it is all done. It's adorable. Let me move this to the side a little bit. Actually, it's still a little bit wet. I don't want to put it right on my mat. But So that's perfect. The only other step I do, but this is entirely up to you. As you can see, this one's much more thick and this one is much more thin. So you can leave it like this if you prefer, if you're going to use it for something other than crafting, or you can do what I do. I like mine very flat, so the only thing I do is I get a big heavy book when I'm done and I just press it right on top and it'll make it nice and flat like that. But I would wait to do that till it's 100% dry. So I hope that was educational. I hope you learned. And if you have any questions, please just leave them in the comments below. Um, I'm happy to answer them. I usually see them there first. So I hope that you really enjoyed this fun little tutorial. I loved making them. It's super easy. They're perfect to use in journals. And I love their little glitter happiness that they bring, especially for spring. I think it's a fun little spring um, tutorial. So if you have any questions, leave them below. Please like, subscribe. It helps the Instagram algorithm. It helps me out as a creator on my little channel. So I hope you have a really wonderful week. I really am grateful that you tuned in and thank you so much.